Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be talking about the difference between shifting a demand curve and movements along the demand curve. And I'm going to be talking about these two different types of changes in two different ways. So when we shift the demand curve, we're going to be referring to changes in demand. And when we're moving along the demand curve, we're going to be talking about a change in the quantity demanded. So let's focus on movements along first. And here's our demand curve. And to understand movements along, we have to understand what this demand curve is doing, which is telling us a relationship between all the possible prices that a good can, can take and the quantity demanded at each one of those prices. And we are holding everything else fixed. So it follows from this that when we're moving along the curve, what we're doing is we're tracking changes in quantity demanded that are due to changes in the price only. So for instance, if we started at price is equal to six, we can see from our demand curve here that we're demanding five units at that price. If we were to lower that price to four, we would move along the demand curve. We would get an increase in the quantity demanded um, and that's up to seven here. That works the other way. Say we wanted to increase the price from four to six. This would cause, because we've increased the price, a decrease in the quantity demanded, we would move up along that curve. And this works for all the prices that are applicable or appropriate for the demand curve that you're working with. What's important, the take home message is that movements along the curve concern changes in the quantity demanded, which are due to changes in the price of the good itself. Let's contrast movements along with shifting the whole curve now. So we can shift to the left, that's a decrease in demand, say from D to D1, like I have on the screen here. Or an increase in demand would be a shift of the curve to the right, say to a curve like D2 here. The big difference between movements along and shifts in the curve is that when we're shifting the demand curve, we're not changing the price, but rather saying that for all of the possible prices, the quantity demanded at each one of those prices is either more or less than it used to be. So for instance, if we held the price fixed at some amount, let's just say $6, we can see at the original demand curve D that we are demanding five units at that price. If we experienced an increase in demand, let's just say that our demand shifted out to D2, we can see at that same price that now more is demanded and that looks to me about 7.75. Likewise, if we experienced a decrease in demand, let's just say from D to D1, we can see at that same price that now only two units are demanded. And that's not just for prices equal to six, but for all of the possible prices, if we shift around the demand curve, we are changing the amount that is demanded at each one of those prices. So what sort of things are going to shift around our demand curve? So the sorts of factors that come into play when we're talking about shifts are usually things like tastes and preferences. So how popular something is or, or isn't. Uh, income, so if our income changes around, this can shift the demand curve as well. But we have to make sure if we're talking about income though, we're clear about whether the good is normal or not, because if a good isn't normal, then an increase in income may lead to a decrease in demand. And lastly, the price of substitutes or complements. So if the price of a good that is really similar to your own product increases, then the demand for our own product might increase if consumers switch over and the opposite is true. Likewise with complements, so goods that are consumed really, really well with your own product, if the price of those complements change around, then we might see shifts in demand curves as well. Okay, that's it. So that's the difference between movements along that concern changes in own price and shifts, which there's a lot of factors here that can change the relationship between uh, price and quantity demanded at those prices uh, from the consumer's perspective, because that's what we're talking about when we're thinking about demand. Okay, thanks so much. I hope you guys are doing well and enjoying studying economics. Please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Give me a comment. Let me know how you're going. Uh, have a great night or day and I hope the video helped.